Ah, the sound of the video store. Now, if you have been living further under a rock than I do, then you will have never heard of this game, and your life is that much poorer for that reason. But, okay, we're going to go normal, and we're going to give ourselves all the lives. Uh, jump attacks, good. Uh, yeah, let's go with the cartoon. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are one of those franchises that was kind of made to sell toys to kids, but it actually gained a lot of uh, popularity and following. Uh, the comics were, uh, especially the black and white ones, they, they got pretty brutal. But, of course, that always translates to, uh, you know, merchandise, cartoons. video games and bloated being back gotta love those fan family friendly insults yeah. Yeah, here we go but this is probably the best beat em up of all time if not the best then one of the best and this was always one that I would rent whenever I would go visit uh, relatives and, you know, the days of the uh, movie rental store and the game rentals. You know, if you kind of missed out on that during, uh, you know, your time on this planet, then, you know, it kind of sucks. Those were really good times. And I'm not just looking at those through the uh, eyes of nostalgia. It was a family experience. Your family would get a movie to watch, you would get a game to play, and if you managed to get it on like a, generally like maybe Saturday, they were sometimes closed on Sundays, and then so you got it for like an extra day. And this was one of the ones my cousins and I would always get. Oh, I keep doing that. Because you can have two players, and it was just a riot, and you could sometimes complete it, you know, relatively quick. And if you got tired of just the uh, standard challenge, you switch it over to hard. Now, from my understanding, there's not a lot of difference between the two endings. Uh, I think you just get, like, um, them on the turtle blimp or something, if memory serves. And I'm not sure if there's any difference between the turtles. Like, uh, again, they just different weapons. Maybe uh, Donatello or somebody has different reach. But I've always liked Leo. I don't know why. And good old Baxter Stockman. And come on. I'm good at the game, I swear. It's just, you gotta watch his shadow and you gotta line up your shadow with his. Oh, gotta watch out for that too. Yeah, this uh, was just always a real fun one. That was bright and colorful. 
Well, not that it mattered to us, you know. We were hopped up on soda and staying up late and just playing video games. Now, I am playing this on the little controller that I reviewed uh, earlier on the channel. It's got its own video, but um, so far, I'm digging it. I had to hook everything up through the upscaler and then the capture, and I still can't do the double tap to the left. I'm always... Your body gets so trained going to the right in these uh, kinds of games that it's kind of hard to do the left trick. There we go. But it's so... Oh, so satisfying whenever you do it. Ah. Oh. Haha. Now... This was also one of those uh, cases of I played this before another game in the series. Oh, hate these things. Um, I played the first Ninja Turtles and then the Turtles 2 Arcade from Nintendo. That's a good one. I'll have to see if I can't dig that one. Uh, but I, you know, I'd never played Manhattan Project till like, years later. Ow. And that was really good. Ow. Getting my ass kicked here. Ouch. That's alright. Ow. I've still got a little bit of rust on me. Ow. I like to try to group them up and hit them all together at once. <laughs> this is always fun. And we got a free man. Or turtle. Ow. I bounced off my skull. Man. Come on. There we go. What it is is I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time and it just doesn't work out. There we go. You know, gotta provide some entertaining commentary. Now, what I liked about this is it took uh, several things. Like, it took some stuff from the movies with some of the uh, bosses later on, and a lot of the games. Or, excuse me, a lot of the cartoon. Like, I remember the cheats, some bitch. Damn, I remember the uh, cheap skate in the cartoon. That was the little gas-powered skateboard that Donatello made. Uh, I don't ever rightly recall if uh, they had something like this. Now. These were the uh, pizza monsters. Pizza Ow. Ow. No. I forgot where the uh, little sweet spot is. Look like the aliens. Ah, missed it. Now let's see if I can cheese the rat king here. Ah. 
there's a spot. I, I think I'm in it. Nope. Ow. There we go. I think I got him. Not quite the uh, best spot to do it, but you can cheese him. Now, there's a new Turtles game coming out, or it's already out, whichever. But uh, it looks like it picks up from where this one left off at. Now, this is what always blew my mind kind of as a kid. Or, we'll just say younger and stupid. I, I don't think I was ever really a kid. There we go. That's always a neat thing if you manage to catch them in that little uh, slam move right there, you can take them all out. Mausers. Come on. Get off me. Always hated those things. Oh, come on, really? Oh, I hate these guys right there, the Nunchaku guys or whatever these guys are called. <laughs> Probably used that one early, but whatever. Now, that was one thing that never really made sense to me was the uh, Technodrome. Oh, now, these guys never were in the cartoon, uh, they were in the movie, the second one. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get away. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like little animations. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I think that's like not insta kill, but it is not a uh, very pleasant experience. And I hate when they gang up on you like that. There we go. Fucking snapping turtle. Let's, uh... There we go. <laughs> Ow. Fucker. And of course, you know, you can't have a beat em up without an elevator stage. Now, in memory serves, those guys were actually created to catch Splinter in the series. 
Same for these guys. I think it even showed a uh, very sort of uh, hinting scene whenever Stockman first introduced them. Like, they could chew through anything and then get to the rats. And I don't think it showed actually what they did to the rats, but they were kind of horrified. So... You kind of guess what it does. They eat the rats. <laughs> yeah, in the uh, hard mode, these guys are in the uh, this next room here. And again, this kind of blew my mind. Like whenever we first got to this point, it's like we're already facing Shredder. Like seriously. There's just so much going on on the screen. going to make me watch Rocky Horror, are they? Prehistoric Telsar. That's a, uh, you know, time period accurate. Pterodactyls that drop bombs. And foot soldiers. Those things hurt so bad, dude. And I don't keep the mean. I don't mean to keep using that special either. Those. <laughs> they got his axe stuck. And that was always one of the things that, you know, we like to do is like, uh, look at all the enemies and their animations. And do that to them. Uh, rock soldiers here. Dimension X. Like in uh, Turtles 2, you actually got to fight uh, General Craig, and I forget the other guy's name. this level. <laughs> and I always loved it whenever they would attack their own guys. Oh, 
You got a stun lock there. I hate them. Now this is one of the most annoying. Ah, I just see what I mean. Come on. You gotta hit him in the back because apparently he has a uh, soft shell. I can't remember the whole thing in the series. I just remember at one point they had banished him to like outer space and then they made him super smart. like one of the hardest ones too just because of this move right here and just how you have to hit him there we go have you ever been playing a game in the arcade like especially a fighting game the old quarter years and you're doing really good right up until you hit this one guy and next thing you know you're you're broke like you have wasted all your money because you wanted to try to prove a point and kick the crap out of this game that's him Colin crossbone I thought I was far enough away from that one. You gotta love the, uh, I just call them fodder guys. They just come out and they're, they take one hit. if you uh, throw these guys like I think you get a next yeah you get like extra points for throwing them and the guys with the little frisbees here are the some of the most annoying foot plans um Ship comes by and oh, shooting at you. <laughs> Environmental damage. God. Fighting a bunch of guys. Crossfires. The music. You can't help but not soak this game in. Ah, oh, man. Oh, my God. That's why these guys are annoying. Oh, my God. And if you don't get them... Serious? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even my special wouldn't work.
There we go. Rhapsody and Bebop. Now, these guys can be kind of annoying too, but you can get them tangled up on each other. It's kind of fun. You gotta watch out for that sword. It's like fighting the Three Stooges. Ah, see? And you just gotta beat one of them, I think. Yep. Again, as far as beat em ups go, this is a pretty neat concept just as far as the uh, stage mechanic. And they uh, change it up on you, like, as far as enemies, scenarios, strategies, even like that. I mean, you can kind of get through the game just button mashing, but it doesn't always work. Like the recovery time like on some of these hits like when they send you rolling like that i mean sure you don't get hit or anything but still oh i hate these guys too oh and it's just always so satisfying when you catch all of them in those slam lock like that it's like oh you're gonna creep up on me Let's go get the pizza. Pizza time. And since I'm working on the last life here, and I mean, I got continues and extra life, but still, you know, you want to try to. Not use them, you know. Come on. There we go. Well, the rock got. Ah. Shell at wounded knee. I don't understand why they couldn't have just done it like the arcade and let you continue from in game at the same point. But then again, I'm complaining about a game that's. I don't even know how old right now. Probably old enough to drink, so. Oh. Guess I'm. Okay. 
There we go. The flying kick is just so satisfying to pull off, or when you pull it off. It lets you travel across the screen really fast. Watch out. And kick guys in the face. Yep, jump too late. Until you get punched in the turtle nuts. That's why I don't like these guys. They can hang off screen and just punch you in the face. Head is probably one of the uh, easiest bosses on this one. You just gotta watch out for that. Oh. And the lobsters. And the tail. But his pattern is uh, generally really predictable and easy to pick up. Except whenever I do some stupid shit like that. <laughs> oh, or that. I think he uh, only does the tail attack like that whenever you jump at him. And he gets ground up under the train. Leatherhead was uh, definitely one of the more interesting villains in the series. I think he came in much later. Neon Knight Rider. Drive by punching. That's what I always liked about this too, the bonus stage. Ooh, ow. Oh, come on, get up. Get locked into that uh bomb ooh, bomb attack there and end up getting killed really easy. Keep the time. I don't believe I've ever gotten all those. Ow. Or understood why they put all those pizzas in a row like that. And for the time, Mode 7 was really awesome. another one you can kind of uh, get into a lock. Yeah. 
but you gotta be right on that plane with them. I'm gonna blame the controller. New controller hadn't quite got it broke in yet. Ah, come on. Always gonna blame the controller. Again, this is also one of those games people speed run, and I believe you're just a psychopath, like a few speed run games like this. Because everything just has to be so perfect. Darby, where no turtle has gone before. Always gotta have some new enemies too, which is really neat. Hate these things because their little rings not only stop you, but they just do so much damage. Oh. See what I mean? It's like almost a quarter of your health gone. Luckily they're glass cannons though. Cheap oh, shot. Star guys, chill. Yeah, this D pad ain't quite broken yet. Boy, it will be after this, though. Enough, I get it. You have Donkey Punch programmed into one of your attacks. Oh my god. And like any good beat em up, you got enemies coming out the walls, out the floors, out the sides of the screen. Oh, and I just got kicked in the face. And before I can make it to the pizza. Got those things come at you like that. Get on, jerk. Well, ah, oh, come on. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to beat this stage again. Come on now. Oh, what the hell? 
That was some malarkey. a little bit better, it's just that the D-pad is, you know, stiff. It's a stiff D. Now this is a... Ah, the bubbles. God, I hate the bubbles. This was the worst part. Well, outside of him doing that. Like I said, you gotta be like right on plane with them. Now this was like uh, one of those oh shit moments. It's like, okay, we got another level and it's like, uh, no, we're fighting Shredder. And he went Super Saiyan. And he's got a series of attacks you just gotta watch. Oh, that's the one you gotta watch out for. That's instant death. And of course I would get hit by it. The final shell shock. Grind the D pad in there. Grinding the D. And of course, you know, red is fire. Green stayed the hell away from that. Oh, 
Come on! Yeah, that was my own fault. Oh. God, that is such a bullshit move. This guy is definitely a quarter eater, too. Oh, just touching him does so much damage. Come on, man. There we go. This is the basic ending. So if you don't got this for the weekend and manage to beat it and it's just like defeat the hard mode and you'll be true ninjas, you'll be mad as hell. It's like I gotta go through it again. What is this like ghouls and ghosts? 28 minutes, it's not too bad. Not my best time, but Uh, definitely a fun little game. But that's going to do it for this episode of uh, Retro Reflection. Remember, it's up to you to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All that good stuff is in the description below, as always. And we're on the road to 10,000 subs. And if you want to be a part of that, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one.